Well, we may well be in the early part of February, but one thing I do as an angler this time of year is I look at what hook baits I'm going to be using throughout the spring, summer and autumn. So you might think that's a little bit early, but I have a bit of OCD if I'm honest. I've got a dedicated shelf in my garage where all my hook baits are already prepared. So all my pop-ups, all my match the hatches, my wafters, whatever I'm going to be planning on using, whatever additive, whatever intense booster I'm going to be using on those baits to make them super attractive is already done. One of the things on that shelf are my Evolution hook baits. Now, I consider these to be a really important part of my armory. These are a boosted bottom bait based purely on attraction. So what do you get in your Evo kits? Okay, the first thing is your high attract liquid additive. You also get a measuring spoon. Now that's for using with your powders. You get your high attract powder. You also get a little instruction booklet. And most importantly, are your salt cured hook baits. So if you give these baits a little shake, you can hear that they are absolutely bone dry. That's because they have been air dried and salt cured. These baits are super effective for pre-spawning carp. So throughout the spring months, when the fish are getting ready to spawn, these are gonna give you a massive edge based on the salt curing process. But within the kit, you get a liquid and a powder. Now that is there so we can create a paste wrap around the hook baits. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. To create the wrap, the big tub that the kit comes in, that's going to be our mixing bowl. What we're going to do is we're going to get six or seven of our hook baits. Now you don't do them all at once, you just do what you're going to need. You can always mix some more up later. So I'm going to put six or seven of our hook baits into the tub. Now the next thing we're going to do is put on our liquid. Now it's important when you're making these, we're not soaking these baits. All we're going to do is we're going to glaze them. So you only need a few drops in here and we're just creating a little moisture of the liquid around the hook baits. I'm just going to roll them around in there. Because these baits are salt cured, they're bone dry, so they draw this liquid on really quickly. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our higher track powder and our mixing spoon. Now we supply a mixing spoon because if you put too much powder on, all it does is just glugs the bottom of the tub up, so the baits will only take on a certain amount of powder within the first wrap. And I say first wrap because you can put more than one wrap on these, which I'll explain in a minute. So I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top of those baits. Now the next bit is really important. If I start wanging them around, what it'll do is it'll dent where the paste is landing. And what we're trying to create is a perfect round hook bait. So we're just going to roll these baits over that powder and just let them stick to them naturally. So it takes a couple of minutes to do this. So there's the first paste wrap put on these baits. Now, what I like to do with the Evo kits is I do them before I go fishing. You can do them bank side, it's fine. Just leave them to dry for a few minutes and you can use these straight out the tub. But what I said before is you can build up your paste wraps. So what I do is I do one wrap and then I leave the baits to air dry, leave them 24 hours and then I just repeat the process. Put some more liquid on them, put some powder on, the circular motion again and that'll build a second wrap. And you can customise your hook baits to whatever size you want. So that's those about done now and they're starting to look mega. Now, you may well be asking, why would we want to put a wrap around our hook bait? Well, the concept is when that bait hits the lake bed, that wrap is going to slowly break down and all the parts of that powder additive are going to drop around the hook and the amino acids and attractors are going to be pumping off that. And the idea is that the hook bait is the most attracted part of the mix and that's what gets picked up first. So these ones here are in the bug flavour, but we do an Evo kit to match all our four main baits at DNA. And there we are, that is the Evos. Sometimes in carp fishing it's just doing something different, doing something that the guy next to you is not doing that can reap the rewards. So check out the Evo kits on the DNA website.